Okay, hey guys. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be showing off a cool new addition to the uh, Hyperspin Drive. Um, this is actually going to be uh, Fightcade 2. Uh, this has been making the rounds around the internet for quite some time, and uh, it's gained a lot of traction, so I decided to add it to the setup. Um, actually, let me clarify something. The uh, old fight cade used to be on this drive, but uh, that is now gone, and I've completely wiped that, and I've replaced it with this version. Also, uh, I went through and I added a bunch of really, really cool features uh, for this hyperspin release, so I'm going to be showing those off as well. So let's actually start with the ROM sets, and there's with fight cade 2, there's actually a ton of new ROM sets, and I've got every single game. Also, I'm going to be leaving a link down below, uh, which you can kind of go to my website. It's going to be on my website, and if you wanted to uh, download it, um, it's going to be there. So, let's, uh, let's actually just start with the ROM sets first, and show off what has been covered, and then from there I'll, I'll go in and uh, I'll launch it via Hyperspin. I'll show off uh, you know the stuff I've added and I'll explain the control system and I'll just kind of show proof of concept for launching of each individual emulator so let's go into hyper or Ficade 2 and the first thing I'm going to show off is I guess the uh, Fireburn Alpha ROM sets and there's a lot of them here you've got Coleco you got a full set of Coleco you've got a full set of uh, Sega Game Gear you got the Mega Drive in the Genesis, which has 2,282 ROMs. You've got the MSX. You've got, uh, sorry, I just want to make sure this is recording. Uh, you got the MSX. You've got uh, NES. Um, I believe HB is Homebrew, and FDS, I'm not exactly sure what that is. Um, I left these out uh, just because they weren't really official ROM sets. Uh, you got PCE, you've got your MAME ROM set, SG-1000, uh, SGX, S, uh, Sega Master System. Uh, you got your Spectrum, and then you got your TurboGrafx-16. And that's going to cover Fireburn Alpha. And then for the other two, you've got SNES, which is here. You've got a full ROM set here, 1908, 1908 ROMs. And... Then you've got an old DC, which also has a full ROM set. And this took me a little bit to kind of find. So, But they are all here, and they're all going to be included in the link. So this is uh, this is confirmed to be working straight across the board uh, for every emulator. I'm going to be showing that off in a second. So let's, uh, let's actually just jump into Hyperspin, and we're going to start up. Uh, some of these emulators. Just give it a second. It's going to boot up. And we're going to go down to Fightcade. Start. Oh, and before I jump into um, the setup here, uh, this actually works straight across the board for all keyboard encoders, as well as uh, the Xbox 360 controller and as you can kind of see here the bezel pops up which I just made and if you look into the top right corner you're gonna see a button configuration you um, for this is only here for I guess one of the three emulators and that's gonna be Fireburn Alpha I've actually set up default controls for Fireburn Alpha however you're gonna come across some games that gonna be, that are gonna be that are needed are going to be needed to be manually configured, and the button configuration uh, is here for anybody that wants to reference it. And I only say that because you've got different type of games that have, I guess, maybe three, four, five buttons depending on the game, and you might have to manually configure those. There's thousands of games in here. I can't obviously do it, so I made this bezel with the button configuration in the top right corner so you can do it yourself. However, you don't actually have to change anything for the SNES as well as the NOL DC emulator. It's all done for you. Um, and I would say, you know, a good majority uh, of the Fireburn Alpha stuff, it's done for you as well. So if you look to um, uh, on the left side of the uh, column here, you're going to actually see uh, three different uh, three different 
chat rooms. And right now I'm actually using the Xbox 360 controller to control the mouse. Uh, the right stick is actually, I've set it up where the right stick will control the mouse. And to click, you would just click the, uh, click the button right stick. So let's go into Street Fighter Alpha 2. This is going to be your Fireburn Alpha. And you're just going to click the uh, R3 on your um, Xbox controller, and we're just going to go up to test game. But if you look on the right side here, you can see all the different players in the chat, and you can play this game with them. So let's just go into test game, and then I'm going to show off the controls. And it launches to full screen already for you. As well, it's, uh, I've, I've went through and I've selected some of the video settings as well. So let's um, let's uh, add two players, and I'll show that the buttons are configured as well. So let's add some credits, and right now I'm adding credits with the Xbox controller, and now I'm adding credits via the keyboard. So let's press start, and we're gonna. Right now I'm using the keyboard. So let's uh, let's just pick a player. Oh. Round one. So this is using the Xbox controller right now, and I've only got one plugged in for player one. That's going to be punch, uh, your medium punch, and your medium or your fierce punch. And then for the bottom row, it's going to be A, B, and your right trigger uh, for pick. And then for player 2, since I only have the keyboard, A, S, Q, W, E, uh, starting bracket. And then for player 1, punch, punch, space, uh, shift, Z, X. So everything works on both control configurations. So let's to kind of get out. Um, I've also configured it where if you press escape, it's not going to kick you out unless you want to... It's not going to kick you out of Fireburn Alpha completely and bring you back to Irishman. It'll just bring you back to uh, the fight cave menu. So you can actually just use the mouse, go to exit emulator, and it'll kick you back out to here and you can select another chat room. So let's go into test game for Sega Naomi and you're going to see like a little screen come up here and you can pick your game. So let's go down to um, where is it? Uh, Capcom Naomi. Oh, I screwed it up. Sorry. I'm using the uh, Xbox 360 to do this. I'm just going to use the mouse. Sorry. And then you're going to hit play offline. It's going to launch into full screen. And then uh, just wait here. I'll, I'll show the credits as well as... Uh, whatever so right now I'm using the Xbox controller and uh, you can also use the left stick as well as the D-pad whatever you prefer and then you can also use the keyboard to put them so and then player 2 and this is the keyboard for player two. So I'm gonna get out. Let's uh, do the last emulator. And we're just gonna close this. And we're gonna go down to Super NES. So let's launch the game. This goes full screen again. And we're going to press start with the Xbox controller and start with the uh, keyboard. Now we're pressing A on the Xbox controller and uh, A on the keyboard. So everything actually works straight across the 
board. So I'm gonna get out now, and if you wanted to X out, exit straight out to hyperspin, hold coin for three seconds either on the keyboard or hold coin, or I guess select on your Xbox controller for three seconds. And there we go. This is gonna take a second to refocus for the fight gate screen, but it will refocus, so give it about, I don't know, five seconds. Maybe five more. There we go. And then you can exit out. Okay, so yeah, that's going to be my video for today. Thanks for watching, guys. I just want to make sure I'm still recording. I am. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. The link for all this content is going to be available through my website. I haven't actually put the link there yet. Um, I'm going to upload this video to YouTube. And then, uh, yeah, have a great weekend, guys. I know it's um, Halloween today. So um, hopefully some of you are out there collecting candy with your kids or whatever, but uh, um, I'm probably going to go run out and get some candy now because there's going to be some people outside my door. Anyways, um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.